In our July NPR, we advanced what we viewed as a conservative forecast for exports in the sense that it assumed only that exports would grow roughly in line with the U.S. economy. We've seen a significant recovery in exports since then, but the net effect of these choppy data is that the level of exports, the level of exports is well below where we thought it would be by now. Now, it's important to note that international trade has been surprisingly weak globally. Also, the U.S. economy was quite weak in the first half of the year in dimensions that are important to Canadian export demand. These factors explain about half of the shortfall in exports relative to what we were expecting. For the remainder, we are examining a range of structural factors, including lost export capacity and competitiveness challenges. Now, in our surveys, companies have mentioned a number of factors that can influence competitiveness or hinder exports directly. These include such things as deficient infrastructure, regulatory uncertainty, rising trade barriers, relatively high electricity costs, and the unknown status of current and future trade agreements.